Hi everyone, I'm Frank Garcia. I'm here at scrapbook.com. And in our last lesson, we went ahead and added some impasto paint. We went ahead and added some gesso, some crackle paint to our embellishments. Now this is the exciting time. We're gonna be adding some sparks. Now sparks are my favorite paint because they're sparkly, they're pretty, they're full of shimmer. And you're gonna see a different way to use these paints that's gonna bring this project up to life. So we're gonna start down here. We have two colors of sparks. We have Mermaid Sparkle and Butterfly Spells. Now these paints, if you've never used them before, they're acrylic paints, but they're full of shimmer. So they have this really fine mica in them and you can see how sparkly they are. Now the paint itself is very thick. So we're gonna water it down a little bit. So I'm gonna take a brush that's already been wet with just regular water. And what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of the paint and then dip it back into my bowl of water. And I'm gonna start adding that paint in there little by little. So I'm gonna take water and just dilute it. So as I'm adding it, I'm gonna go over everything that I went ahead and added gesso to. So you'll see here that as you're adding it, it'll just kind of start dripping into all of the embellishments. And that mica that's in the paint is going to be revealed. So these, these paints have sort of like a different shift to them. They have a little bit of a, probably like a silver, you could see right here on my napkin here, the silver mica in there. And that's really what's showing through on the project. So it'll give you a hint of the color, but then it'll also give you a little bit of that silver showing. And as you dilute it, the more you dilute it, you'll see that color come through. Now you can definitely add as little or as much as you want of this. Um, I just like to give it a little touch here and there. And you see that I'm doing one color at a time, but you can definitely do both colors if you want. So I'm gonna keep adding here. And the reason why we add the water, okay, is so that it dilutes, it starts to move. So for example, right there, I can go back to my water and just kind of help it move along that shell. Now, if I didn't use water, you would see that it would just stay, okay? But the moment you add water, it just moves easier. It just kind of dilutes and really gives you that look that you want, which is kind of like that really oceany, watery look, okay? So I'm almost, I think, done adding the mint color, okay? I'm gonna go over the art stones real quick. And with the art stones, all you need to do is touch them. See that? You don't really need to add too much on them because they will naturally just take any color you put on them. And that's what I like about them. They're really easy to use. Now, what else can you do with sparks? As I'm showing you this, this technique here, you can definitely use sparks to color just regular painting. So if you wanted to just paint on a canvas, you could do that. A lot of people like to add it to flowers. So sometimes I'll take a little bit of sparks, add, add a little splatter, to my flowers and that always looks really nice. Or you can actually use them to mix into gels and other mediums. So that's always a good way to utilize your paint. So don't think of paints as just a medium for you to brush onto something. You can always use it or mix it into other products that you may have already in your stash, okay? So remember that sand paste that we went ahead and used earlier? So I'm gonna scooch this down a little bit. And I'm gonna show you now the sand paste has already dried and you can kind of see it here. We'll look at what happens when we use our sparks. We're just gonna rub this here real quick. I'm gonna add a little bit of water and then I'm gonna take my napkin and I'm just gonna absorb that color just a little bit. And you can see how that adds a really beautiful grainy look to it. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water and I'm just gonna scoop that up a little bit. You can see that really pretty, almost like a cosmic look. It's just really pretty. So I'm gonna go back to where I added any sand paste and I'm just gonna add a little bit of that color. Just a touch. And just kind of scoop it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be all of it. If you wanna leave a little bit more of the paint, you can. But I like to scoop up a little bit of it so that it kind of shows through and you get that texture of the sand kind of coming through there. Now over here where we have the impasto, I can go ahead and add a little bit of that paint there just to kind of create a little puddle, maybe a little there. I'm gonna add a little bit here. 
and I'm just layering these paints together. And that's what's beautiful about this mixed media project that you can mix the mediums, kind of make them your own and not have to worry about if this is right or wrong because it's really not. I just made this up as I went. And that's the beauty of it. So I think I'm pretty done with this color. I'm gonna start with the butterfly spell. So I'm just gonna rinse my brush here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same technique. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the pink and I'm gonna start adding it into my project. Now, when you start working with the second color, you, it's important for you to make sure that you're not putting it right over your other color. And the reason why it's, otherwise it's gonna turn into mud, okay? Um, it's gonna turn into like a weird color. So what you wanna do is you wanna just kind of really dilute it. It'll blend in together and that's okay. Um, but you don't want too much of it kind of going and mixing because then otherwise it's just gonna look a little weird. Um, and you know, weird is okay, but sometimes you don't want it to be too weird. So I'm gonna just add a little touch here and there as I go. You can see I'm doing the same technique. I'm adding a little bit of paint, a little bit of water, and just letting that drip through. Now, I always keep a paper towel in hand in case I put too much of something. You can just kind of scoop it up. Now, remember with the sand paste, what we did, I'm gonna go ahead and add the same thing over here and just scoop that up. And you can see how a little bit of that pink just kind of remains. Now, these colors are the colors that I picked for this Golden Coast collection. You can see it's a little bit of a pink and mint line, but there's so many colors of sparks that you can use for all kinds of other projects. So. If you kind of take a look at the entire assortment, you'll see that there's some for fall, there's some for Christmas, a lot of different color options that you can use with this. Now there is um, no right or wrong with how much you can add of this, but of course you wanna not overshadow everything else you've done. So I kind of like to keep a little bit of the white on the shell showing. Um, so if you wanted to just keep a little, little pieces of the white showing, that's okay. So now I'm gonna scooch back up here. And I'm gonna go into my sand paste right here. I'm gonna do the same technique, just kind of water that down and then just scoop it up with my napkin. Now that's a really nice effect. I love it. It's really cool. I think this is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna come back and show you guys what the next step is. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.